Dr. Sproul, you quoted Martin Luther, uh, justification by faith alone is the foundation upon, upon which the church stands or falls. The question is, what is that, uh, what are we to believe about N.T. Wright's doctrine of imputation? What does the new perspectives on Paul do to solo fide? Destroys it and the gospel with it. Why don't you tell us what you really think? Well, <laughs> I'm trying to act with some restraint. <laughs> <laughs> well, the second, the second part of that question was, is his view heretical? What? Is his view heretical? If it isn't, then there's no such thing as heresy. <laughs> such thing as heresy. Any of our other seminary professors care to take that on? <laughs> I'm perfectly willing to sit here all by myself and say that. <laughs> I do have a follow-up question. Well, 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 see what the yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Dr. Thomas. Yes, I mean, uh, heresy is an emotive word, but, but, but if, if, at least in one aspect of new perspective, uh, the answer to the question, how is a person saved, is answered in an ecclesiastical dimension that you join the covenant community, That's heresy. That's medieval Catholicism. That's what the Reformation was, was brought about to negate. So I, I have no hesitation in saying that that view is heretical. Now, the new perspective is a, is a moving target. Uh, so I, I need to be careful about making particular individuals heretics uh, because it's often very unclear, I mean, even in N.T. Wright, it's often very unclear as to exactly what it is that he's saying, even when he says it again and again and again.